The bank on it is one of the new pieces that I've created. It is a story about cryptocurrency. And I was discussing with my business partner about it, and he's been very heavily involved in cryptocurrency for years and just sort of fascinated by just the idea of it, the complete democratization of money. I was introduced to Kevin by a mutual friend and uh, learned about the way he approaches art and the mosaics, the textures, and all the narratives that he puts into his work. And uh, uh, from the get-go, I was uh, super intrigued, super impressed. Uh, Kevin came up with an idea to create a mosaic, um, a, a, a Kevin version of, of Bitcoin. It was kind of neat to introduce bank on it at India House in New York City at what is the, I believe one of the first commodity trading houses in New York and quite possibly the country. And it just felt very apropos to have all of this history just sort of stacked on top of each other because the piece itself is created from coins from many ages. I mean, I, some of them go back a couple hundred years. It's his largest work. It's the, the work that's uh, been most time consuming. And uh, I, I think it's uh, the, the level of detail he put into imprinting and, and developing all these, these tokens that represent uh, this mosaic of Bitcoin is, um, is super cool. I first learned about Bitcoin in 2011 and a dear friend of mine in Asia uh, said you should check this out. And I did what uh, most people still do today, unfortunately, is I, is I discounted it. I, uh, I thought it was silly, magic, internet money. For the first time, we've got this medium of money that's, um, that's digital, uh, that's not centralized, and um, is a real invention uh, in, uh, in Bitcoin. To actually create a cryptocurrency-themed piece about money and accept cryptocurrency as payment for it, I just thought, that this, again, just sort of wrapped up the whole, the whole story. Kevin was a mechanic at this company, and it was uh, quite interesting because he was a person who could do all sorts of things, not just work on aircraft, but very old historic equipment, machinery. And uh, one day I asked him, what is your background? How do you know how to do so much and so many different things? And his response was, I'm, I'm really an artist. And I asked him right then and there, can I come over to your house and see these in person? I saw the most unbelievable art I've seen in my lifetime. I said, uh, Kevin, uh, quit your job. And he didn't hesitate for a second. He smiled and a few weeks later he was uh, out of there and we started a business together. To have that much detail is sort of, again, sort of drives home the amount of information necessary, you know, to even create Bitcoin and to even create one of my pieces. <laughs>